Hello everybody, welcome to another movie review, this time for us. This is the new film, the second film, from director, writer, producer Jordan Peele. Uh, this is his follow-up to the critically acclaimed and uh, box office smash hit Get Out. Uh, this time, Us stars Lupita Nyong'o, Winston Duke, a bunch of other people, and in it, uh, there's this family who are on vacation, I believe, during the summer. They go to the beach. Uh, some people, another family that look exactly like them, show up and wreak havoc. And it's a horror movie. And um, this movie is different than Get Out, but also, like, the same. Uh, it's kind of weird, because this movie um, is just kind of a straight horror movie. Get Out was... There, there was you know, a lot of uh, social commentary to the film. And while I think there are definitely things that Jordan Peele is trying to say in this movie, this movie's much more of a straight horror movie. So anybody can go into this and just kind of get your straight horror movie stuff out of it. Now, uh, looking at it in that way, I thought it was okay. Um, I thought that the humor that Jordan uh, Peele puts into the movie was excellent, um, because obviously Get Out had that a little bit of that humor too. This movie's a lot funnier than Get Out. It's got a lot of humor in it, which I thought was hilarious every time the humor was brought up. I dug it. The horror is actually where I kind of fell off. I didn't think the movie was too scary. Um, quoting Maggie, <laughs> there's a lot of creepy imagery in the film, uh, but nothing that really like made me jump, scare me. Um, most of the time I do get heebity jeebity in movies, even movies that I don't really like that much, like Hereditary. I know I didn't really care for it, but some of that stuff in that movie really genuinely creeped me out. And nothing in Us really got to me like I wanted it to. And I think part of that is, and I can't get into it because it's spoilers, but there's something that happens about halfway through the movie that I was asked to uh, take this leap with the movie, and I didn't really jump. I didn't care for the twist uh, the first twist that came in the movie, it, it didn't really jive with me. I was all in. I was completely in. And then something happens. And if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Um, where it just doesn't... It, it's more than just a home invasion movie. And that's not really what I wanted. And so that's a personal thing for me. That it turned out to be not really what I was expecting and what I wanted. Um, but then again, Maggie saw the movie with me and she enjoyed that part that I didn't really care for. So I, it very much is a subjective thing. Um, but, you know, the scares didn't really work for me. And the story didn't really work for me. I thought the script was kind of a mess. That all being said, from a directing, from a writer, from a, um, how do I, from, from just a production side overall, this movie's near perfect. Like, it's directed really well. The music supervision is incredible. The score is actually the scariest part of the movie, in my opinion. The score is really haunting. The performances are crazy good. Uh, Lupita Nyong'o is fantastic in this movie. So I know a lot of people were really hurt when uh, What's-Her-Face from Hereditary, uh, Maggie, help me out. Tony Collette. Tony Collette, who <laughs> didn't get nominated for Hereditary. Uh, but I, I, could, I could definitely see with the track record that Jordan Peele now has with the Academy, I could see Lapita getting nominated for this. Like, she's that good in the movie. And I thought Winston Duke, who I've only seen in Black Panther and Avengers was crazy good in this movie. He was fantastic. The two kids as well, and of course they're playing dual roles, so their performances across the board, fantastic. Again, I just didn't care for the story, so it's a weird conundrum of a movie where I actually really enjoyed it, but also didn't at the same time. It's it's very strange. I've never really felt this strongly that about, like, the way the movie was presented to me, but also just, like, not caring for the story, if that makes sense. So, overall, I would recommend you see us if you are a horror fan. It's definitely worth checking out, because you might love it. Just for me, it didn't hit 100%, um, mainly due because of that story. I just didn't, I didn't, it didn't vibe with me. I didn't follow through the whole way. But if you do follow through and you get to the ending and you're enjoying the story, I think you're going to really like where it goes. So I recommend you check it out if you're a horror fan. But again, be, know that it's just a little, it's pretty out there. And I just, I don't think anybody thinks it's better than Get Out.
Maggie? No, 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 no. So anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on Us. Let me know what you've thought about it in the comments below if you have seen it. And be sure to hit that like button and hit subscribe. Also be on the lookout for my Shazam review, which I just put up. So uh, please check that out. We got to see that movie a little early. And uh, me and Maggie reviewed that one together. So take a look at our thoughts on Shazam. Thanks as always for watching, guys. And until next time, have a good one. Thank you.